as my storage demands have continued to grow, so have my backup storage requirements. And as of late, some of my backup drives have begun to get a little bit full. So I decided to go out and get a four terabyte external hard drive in the form of this Western Digital external model, which is seemingly part of one of their sort of economy series based on the basic storage line there. And this was £84.99 from the local computer retailer of PC World, which is about $110 thereabouts, dependent on what the exchange rate is, of course, when you watch this. So now let's unbox this external hard drive. So I'm just going to use the typical method of not using scissors to get into the plastic bag part. Okay, that I think that's worked too well, but there we go. And as usual, it's got one of these style boxes. And there we can see the drive inside there quite clearly. Just take that out. It's reasonably heavy, but then it is going to have a like fairly conventional hard drive inside. So there we can see the back of it. So USB 3 port, DCN, and then like a Kensington lock style connector there. But aside from that, there's not really all that much to it. Inside the rest of the box is just various paperwork the mains power adapter and then the USB 3 lead there. So then setting it up. It's very easy, you just need to plug the power lead into there and then the USB lead into there and then just plug it into the mains and a computer. The power button is located on the back of the device above the USB and DC ports. However, once I had powered it up and the computer had installed the hardware, it didn't show up as a mass storage device or an external hard drive in simple terms. I had to go into disk management and assign it a drive letter. However, as you see here, it's a simple process and then it was completely usable. Of course, the formatted capacity is less than the quoted overall capacity of the device. This is completely normal. So what is the drive's performance like for its intended purpose? So backing up and accessing stored files. To test this, I used a modern Dell Precision with Samsung SSD connected over SATA 3 6 gigabit per second. The Western Digital Drive was tested on the USB 3 ports and the USB 2 ones so that we can get a collection of results. Large file write performance, so whereas effectively backing up a large video file, the performance was typically between 150 and 170 megabytes per second. For smaller size files like photographs, the performance was slightly less at about 100 megabytes per second and for smaller files like Word documents that are very small the performance varies massively dependent on the size of the file so it can either be in the sort of 100 kilobytes per second range all the way actually to tens of megabytes per second. Read performances were very similar with them being maybe a little bit higher Video read speed was about 170 to maybe 180 megabytes per second. Medium size read was about 170 megabytes per second, so quite a big jump over the right. Meanwhile, reading small files seemed to be fairly similar to writing them. On USB 2, the large and medium file read and writes were all around about 20 megabytes per second, rising to a peak of about 30 megabytes per second, which fits pretty much with the fact that USB 2 has a significantly reduced capacity for transfers compared to USB 3, and that's why USB 3 came out. 
small files being small and being limited by third party factor, i.e. the drive, means that their performance isn't actually affected that much. It's only the large file copies where the USB 2 bus becomes the bottleneck in the equation. Thanks for watching this video about the 4TB Western Digital Drive. I will include some links below for where you can buy it, but I'm sure with it being New Year's Eve pretty soon that there will be lots of offers around on these kind of things. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.